So today I'm gonna bike the Withlacoochee uh, State Trail. Now to get here, it's kind of weird. I mean, you come down from the villages, you know, just go all the way down 484 through Dunellen and, uh, and then hit 41, make a left on 41. And then you'll come down the road and there'll be a sign that says the Withlacoochee State Trail of one mile. And then there'll be a sign that sends you into this, this neighborhood, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But uh, you can see this is uh, West G. Martinelli Boulevard. You come down that. And then you're going to turn left on uh, Mag, I guess it's Magenta Drive. Okay, so we're, we'll be there shortly. Uh, it's a haul, no doubt about it. From um, And of course, you really, I mean, you can park uh, eventually once they get that tunnel open, because we did that on a previous video. You could just park there at the, the you know, the Donellan, uh, uh uh, I guess right next to the Rainbow River and then bike down that trail. That's a beautiful, beautiful bike right there. Go underneath the tunnel and then uh, you kind of go along. There's a road back here that the, the bike trail goes along, the, the, the extension, okay, that's going to connect the, um, the Donellan back bike trail to the um, Withlacoochee bike trail. Uh, but, you know, last time I was there, they... Well, you weren't supposed to bike it, but I biked it anyway because <laughs> it wasn't open. But let's get uh, let's get to the to the place uh, where we're going to start out. Oh, and I forgot to show this. Uh, so you you go straight on Martin Tonelli Boulevard until you see that sign right there, and that there's a little tiny sign that says the Withlacoochee State Trail to the left, and there's you got a railroad track right down there. All right, so let's. Uh, Let's head on down. So this is what I'm talking about. So I just came down Magenta to get to the uh, the entrance to the um, the uh, Withlacoochee State Trail, and this is Del Main Drive, West Del Main Drive, and this is the interconnector. Uh, what it looks like. So you would pedal along Del Main Drive uh, from the uh, the Dunellen uh, interconnector. I, you know, coming down that hill, we did that in a previous video, and uh, and then of course this just loops right around, so it's just about complete. I I don't know when they're going to open up that tunnel. I mean, you know, I'm, as you saw, I biked right through it. <laughs> you know, to me, I mean, they might as well just open it up and then because uh, they're really just working on the landscaping around the tunnel. It's uh, every, the whole trail is complete. The interconnector between the two bike trails. Now, you know, I always get this on the video. You do have a restroom here. Uh, kind of a weird parking lot. You know, they do this a lot here in uh, Florida. Is uh, it's, not, uh, it's not marked or paved. You just park on the grass. And, uh, you know, I just put, put the car right there. So let's, uh, let me get down here and, and show you the sign. And then uh, we'll get on the trail. I'm gonna try to get all the way to Hernando because I've come up from uh, Inverness to get to there. So let's uh, let's get going. Okay, so with Lacoochee State Trail, Gulf Junction Trailhead, Florida Park Service uh, 2, for your GPS, 2233 West Magenta Drive, Citrus Springs, Florida. Okay, so if you wanna to try to find this location, assuming that your GPS can bring you here, uh, I did want to make note of this. <laughs> we have we have genderless bathrooms even here in Florida. So I don't know why there's not a men's and a women's room, but uh, whatever, uh, you know, whatever makes them happy. And uh, let's hey, you know, always got to get a look because this water fountain works, I believe, because I had to get some water the last time I was here. Yeah, see, the water fountain is working. You know, they've got a lot of them cut off these days. And then uh, this is what the bathroom looks like. So I mean, that's pretty clean, you know. That's nice. So, and then of course we got the sign over here. I got this on a previous video, but since we're here if, with the with Lacucci, I might as well put this at the beginning of this video in case you haven't seen the previous video. So at 46 miles in length, this rail bed turned greenway passes small towns, ranches, and natural areas as it makes its way south from Citrus Springs to Tribally. An unpaved equestrian trail parallels portions, and I'll let you read the rest. Uh, 
you know and then of course there's your, your etiquette adequate etiquette excuse me um so we're we're uh so here you see what i'm talking about there's the nellen that way uh and you got the connector and since of course the trail is going to come down this way through uh well we're, there's Invernus. okay so i'm we're going to try to get to hernando today but i should be able to get there no problem um the problem is i'm going to run out of daylight uh my wife took forever to come and get the dog today and uh so I, I knew I wanted to go biking because I, I was on the phone for six hours yesterday. So, I, you know, balance to life. You got to you got to have some fun uh, along with your 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 work days. But there's this there's the sign says to the Donellan Trail. All right. So uh, let's get going. Oh, by the way, I did want to point out. Uh, I assume dogs are allowed here. I haven't seen a sign that says uh, uh, whether dog because there's a big pile of dog poop. Uh, back there next to my car and somebody left and didn't pick up nice of them huh and then of course you got that picnic shelter which i thought was a nice thing because you know when i get back i'll probably just hole up in there for a while and uh and just rest uh before i get the get the bike into the car all right so let's get going on the uh on the trail and you can see i mean look you know there's nobody here it, well i've got one pickup truck right there but uh kind of kind of weird you know when i get out because at this time of the year all the snowbirds are here in florida and uh i guess they just don't know about these treasures that we have uh because man i tell you i'd rather come here than go to the santos trail i mean it is a long drive no doubt about it you're going to burn some fuel if you don't have a toyota prius prime like i do getting you know 80 miles to the gallon all right let's get rolling so i'm just getting started biking the trail and uh just wanted to show you it just kind of you know, it's not it's not like some of the bike trails that are way out in the woods. And then, and this is what I've been talking about in a lot of my videos. I mean, look here. Three houses. Three houses being built right beside the bike trail here. And this is nothing. There was another one back there being constructed. So that's four houses. I mean, the whole damn world is moving to Florida. I mean, well, hell, you can see another house back there. That's five houses. You know, I understand. I love being here, but I'm just sorry to see all this construction. All right, well, I'm going to go on go on for quite a ways probably before I take another video because I don't think the scenery is going to change much. But uh, you can see it just kind of pedals through some neighborhoods. And it is, it's a treasure for sure. It's good, good that it's here. And I got to get my exercise. And uh, note to self, raise the seat on the bike. <laughs> I meant to do that after the last bike ride and I forgot about it. Uh, I did pump up the tires though. Put, put the pump in the car. Let's get rolling. Okay, I did wanted to get this because this is as far as I got the last uh, bike ride so we're getting into virgin territory uh, I just heard on the radio six men were arrested I think in Jacksonville for exposing themselves <laughs> Florida man Florida man does whatever Florida can check this out right there look at that vehicle man that is a that is a weird looking vehicle but uh, Florida man, Florida man, does whatever he can. Uh, there was some other Florida man stories. <laughs> oh, a woman, she uh, poisoned uh, a guy because uh, she wanted to shut him up. I uh, think in Jacksonville again. And, uh, and then she called the police because she didn't want him to die. <laughs> and then she told the police. She goes, yeah, I poisoned him. Uh, I guess he's in jail right now. You know, and at least in Florida, we do actually arrest people instead of just putting them back out on the street so they can poison somebody else hey look that might be the guy from the pickup truck first person i've seen on the trail you know usually when i get out on these hikes and stuff i don't see anybody well that's cool all right let's get going so i wanted to get a clip uh just moving along here a couple couple miles further down the trail uh you can see it's just kind of moving next to houses it's not not real scenic but uh every time i see something unique <laughs> <laughs> but I mean this is kind of weird isn't it they put a bunch of uh, I guess they probably bought some yard sale bicycles and painted them different colors uh, for a little scenery here coming along the trail with not sure what the flags mean across the top there and uh, this is what we came down there was a construction site up there uh, yes people do work for a living um, so uh, just continuing on along it's uh yeah, and boy, I tell you, note to self, I'm not sure if I got any money in the back of this bike. I, I'm i going to put some in when I get home because uh, I forgot to get my wallet out of the car. And 
I tell you what, Hernando's got some good, good heats. And um, I would have loved to have gotten some food at the end of, you know, before I turn around and go back to the car. But, uh, so, you know, if, you, if you're coming out for a ride here, make sure, <laughs> make sure you're not stupid like me. And don't bring no damn money so that you can uh, eat uh, on, along the ride. That would have been nice. All right, let's keep going. So I wanted to get a quick clip, uh, just a note on the on the bike path. Um, it's been mostly downhill, which is uh, bad. I prefer to pedal uphill. Uh, that way of going back, when you're tired, uh, you're going downhill. So the pedal back is gonna be tough, but that's kind of what it looks like. You know, you got houses along the side and we're traveling some sort of main road over here. I, I don't know what that is, maybe 41. Um, and I did see uh, another uh, person on the trail and the world is a changing people. It was a, a young man with purple hair and perfume. Because <laughs> cause I could smell him for like another hundred, you know, 500 yards. I mean, I was like, man, what, he must have a whole bottle of perfume on him, you know. Uh, I don't know. What the, but you know what? My dad would have beat the tar out of me if I had colored my hair purple. <laughs> I mean, I, that's why I said the world is changing, you know. I, 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 well, hell, Dad probably would have just kicked me out of the house. No way I'm having a son with purple hair. That'd be damn sure, especially wearing perfume. But you can see we got two more people coming here. So there are a couple people on the trail. Uh, so that's four people I've seen so far. All right, peace out. We'll get some more video here in just a second. So another brief clip uh, of the bike trail but I did want to make note and because I am going to avail myself of this bench for a brief period of time and uh, get a little rest uh, so this is a nice touch they do have the occasional bench along the uh, the bike trail you can see it's continuing on this way the only suggestion that I would have would be put a roof over top of that you know because if you're out you know biking this Florida you know we'll see how the winds just picking up right there that could be a storm blowing in and they come in they come in fast and furious and uh you get caught out here i mean you're just screwed you know because there's no shelter whatsoever uh so uh, at least that i've seen yet and uh i'm i'm pretty far along i'm gonna have to turn back probably about another hour I'm, i was hoping to to get all the way to hernando but i don't know uh i'm getting a little tired and like i said it's all uphill going back so um well let's just rest for a minute and uh We'll get some more video here in just a minute. Well, speak and uh, it will be revealed. So this is another uh, another place to park. It's called the Citrus, Citrus Springs Trailhead. And what's nice, well, there's nobody here except for one guy in the shelter. I don't want to get his face on the video. But it looks like, we, yeah, we got a bathroom there. And you got a little shelter on the left uh, where you could uh, hole up if there was a storm. I uh, is just more or less pedaling down and uh, come up the uh, the ramp here to get here. Um, let's see if it'll show on the sign where I'm at. Uh, maybe this B up here. I don't know. All right, let's. See. Well, there it is, B. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So this is the South Citrus Springs Trailhead. So we've pedaled from there to here. Uh, so let's keep on going. Looks like I'm getting pretty close to Hernando. We should be able to knock that out today. And, uh, whew, the thing that blows my mind is <laughs> there's not a single car here. You know, four handicap spaces, I guess that's good. I, you know. All right, let's, let's keep on going. So just down from that shelter where I took a break and met a nice gentleman from, from Pennsylvania. By the way, a Republican. <laughs> Even being from Pennsylvania. But uh, you can see the trail is looking really nice. You can still hear the traffic over here, but I mean, it's, uh, you really get the feel that you're in the, in the woods. That's, well, that's just a plane. Okay, I thought it was traffic. So we, we kind of dived, dived off of the, uh, the roads and everything, and you really get the feel like you're back in the forest, and I like this. So I'm enjoying this section of the trail. So I have seen about uh, six or seven people. There's another person up here, you can see him. Um, so the, the trail does get some use, uh, but he told me I'm real close to Hernando and then I will be turning back at that point uh, and that'll knock out this, this section of the bike trail and uh, the next section will be, uh, I'll go to Inverness and we'll go, to the, uh, go from Inverness on and uh, there's a bar there that I want to hit. Alright, let's talk to you later. 
Boy, are they proving me wrong. <laughs> so I'm paddling along. I'm not that far from that other shelter. And look at here. You know, this is exactly what you look for in Florida. I mean, because, uh, you know, you get caught out here in a storm and you could just hole up in there for, for to, cause usually they're over pretty quick, you know, especially the thunderstorms uh, in the summertime for sure. And then down here, there's another bench uh, with a couple sitting on it. Kind of made me uh, homesick in a way, you know, with my divorce and all. I, uh, you know, I wish my wife had been willing to, to come out and do things like this, you know, because obviously they just go in for a hike and they're just sitting there and enjoying the day outside. Uh, you know, all she ever wanted to do was play golf and I could never get her to go hiking or biking or do the things that I like to do. But uh, it kind of made me sick, you know. I said, well, you know, maybe someday I'll meet a woman that does enjoy hiking and biking. You never know. All right, you guys uh, have a good one. But I wanted to show you the shelter. I think that's a great touch, man. And that's exactly what you need. Let's keep on going. I should be in Hernando soon, and then we'll turn around. So I took a detour off of the, uh, with Lacucci. This is the, um, there was a sign that said Crystal Ridge State Park. I believe that's what it said. I should have got the sign on the video. And uh, I've been paddling for a mile at least, uh, maybe even more. Beautiful beautiful section uh, of a uh, trail and so i'm kind of trying i'm trying to get to the state park because i think i'm going to turn around right here today because it mainly because i'm going to run out of daylight i got a you know i got to pedal back, most of it uphill heading back but i want to get to the state park because this would be a good place to park to pick up the trail and keep going towards hernando and uh, i did check i don't have any money so I am getting, you know, next time, I, that's the first thing I'm going to do when I get home is take the bike out and, uh, you know, raise that seat and uh, put some put some money in, because I got three or four wallets, you know, and, uh, you know, put, put one in the bike to make sure in the future I, I won't forget to get a little money so that I can get some food when I'm biking along here. But let's see if we can get to that state park and that'll be the next video. But you can see what a nice bike ride this is. I mean, you're just coming through the trees. Uh, you can still hear the car noise off in the distance, so you're not really, you know, out in the forest or anything. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm enjoying this, and I'm glad I took the detour, especially since I think I'm just going to turn around at this point. All right, peace out. All right, I was wrong wrong about the name of the park. It's the Crystal Ridge District Park, uh, and as you can see, dogs are allowed in designated areas. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, I'm going to walk around a little bit just to see, because you can see it's got uh, some baseball fields. Uh, you know, this would be a good place to park if you can. I mean, I assume you can park here. I don't, I, I'm going to try to get an address because that you can plug into the uh, the GPS to come here. And uh, and you can see the bike trail it just picks up right here. And you just get on uh, that that whole section. It's about a mile, mile and a half long to get back to the bike trail. Uh, but let's see if we can get an, an address. Uh, uh, at least, I, if nothing else, I just got to stretch my legs for a bit and uh, just find at least find the entrance to this place. All right, let's let's keep on going. So they do have the POW MIA flag here, but when you walk around to the the back of the building, there are bathrooms. Um, you know, I'm always uh, wanting to point out where where bathrooms are. Let's see if the water fountain works. Yep. Water fountain works. Uh, let's just check out how clean the bathroom is. By the way, they actually have men and women on the door. No, no genderless bathrooms here. Uh, looks pretty clean to me. Let's see what we got. Well, somebody forgot to flush, but uh, other than that, I would use it. It looks clean. All right, so that's uh, that's good to know, ma'am. So if you're paddling along and you got uh, you, in need of a bathroom, just, just head over to the district park here and just come around on this side. Let's keep exploring and see what we find. I knew there had to be a bathroom here somewhere, you know, and I, I'm just surprised it wasn't locked. Thank God, you know, and they used to lock them sometimes, you know, because people get in there and vandalize them. But, uh, you know, most of the time they're, the, they're unlocked here in Florida. I, I do like that. And I don't see too much vandalism. All right, let's, uh, let's walk around for a minute. So that's it for today. This will be the next place that I park to pick up the bike trail. Uh, so this is Central Ridge District Park, 6905 North Lacanto Highway. So 6905 North Lacanto Highway. Uh, not a car in the parking lot. 
So, uh, and I don't know, this is, uh, I mean, I know this is Lacanto Highway, but I don't know what service route this is. It's, uh, it's a pretty doggone busy highway, let's just put it that way. So, uh, I guess I'll just take it on back. I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. And I enjoyed the bike ride, it was a beautiful day. Uh, we'll do the mantra on the way back. There's a, there's a wreath uh, dedicated to the uh, COVID victims, and I'll get that on the video, and, uh, and that'll be it. So, let's get that wreath. So when I when I get back, I may go exploring. So I'm just pedaling along. So this is North Florida Avenue that I'm pedaling next to. And uh, this is West Country Club Boulevard. And then of course the community, Citrus, it's, this is uh, Citrus Springs, I guess. Or maybe I just, a, you know, one, temp, one section of Citrus Springs. But anyway, let's keep on going, man, I'll tell you. I, Plus, I needed a break. <laughs> I told you it was going to be uphill going back, man. I, I'm feeling it. I'm glad I turned back when I did. I mean, if I kept, if I kept going, I probably would be dark. I'm looking for a bench to rest on. I'm going to get some water here in just a minute. But let's keep on going. So this is that uh, that uh, memorial here. It looks like I got some pictures of people that uh, probably died from the CCP virus, but. I don't know whose wreath this is, but I would correct this. This is the CCP virus pandemic memorial, not COVID. That's what the, that's what the WHO wanted to call it because <clears throat> they were trying to deflect the fact that it came, came from China, people. It came from China. Whew. So let's summarize the ride. Uh, man, it's always tough coming back. <laughs> Because you're not stopping to make videos along the way, you know. So, uh, plus it's a little bit more uphill coming back than it was going out. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's bikers out there just laughing at me. Because this is, for the most part, flat. I mean, you know, a real biker, you got actual hills to go up and down. So, uh, so anyway, I mean, I, I like the trail. Um, you know, it's not as pretty as the Santos, for sure. And I uh, did talk to somebody. Um, you know, we're going to... You know, that district uh, park, uh, that'll be the next uh, leg of the journey. And next time I'll have some money along so I can get some food in uh, Hernando or Inverness, depending on how far I go that day. But he did say once you get past Inverness, um, that there are some really beautiful sections of the trail. And uh, so we'll, we'll get to those. He said, because you actually go through like uh, some marshes and some swamps, you, you know, so you won't be just pedaling next to a main road like this whole section of the trail was. Um, once again, uh, I'm in the parking lot. Uh, I, there are actually two cars here. Um, so uh, it does, uh, people do know about it. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's do the mantra and uh, that'll be it for this video. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no mask mandates, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please and work whatever job we want to work. Because the economy is booming under the great governor, DeSantis. Peace out, stay free. So to get to the Central Ridge District Park, 6905 North Lecanto Highway, um, just come down service route, I guess Florida Avenue is the same as service route, uh, I want to say 41, the main road there, that, uh, that we took on, uh, in Dunellen to get to the first parking area. And then it was kind of weird, it had me go through this neighborhood, it's called Smith Street. Um, boy, I tell you, you got to ride through there, there were some pretty, uh, rough looking houses. I, and, uh, and then, uh, you just make a right and come right down here to the... To this parking area so this is where this is where we'll be next uh to hit the trail going towards uh homosasa and this time i'm gonna make sure that i've got some uh, some money in the in the back there because there's a burger place that i want to hit down there uh and uh I, I i'm looking forward to that i can't remember the name of it it's in a previous video and then hopefully we'll continue all the way on to Inverness and then uh and that'll be, and then that'll be the next leg of the journey is coming from Inverness uh, to wherever I'm going. I don't even know what what the next town is uh, heading in that direction. All right, man. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to tack on. If you wanted to come to this parking area 
for the for the um, with Lacucci uh, trail uh, that's how you get here just come come further down 41 uh, service route 41 or Florida Avenue whatever you want to call it and then uh, and then make a right on Smith Street or you, you don't have to do the Smith Street you could just come down and make a tur turn at the stoplight and just come come right on down to this park and the entrance is right here all right peace out stay free so I uh, I had to tack this on to the end of the biking video because man I tell you that was one hell of a bike ride and it's a ways to get out there and uh, so I figured on my way back uh, even in the Toyota Prius Prime you eventually burn some gas and uh, so I was down about well I think I put about two and a half gallons in the tank uh, even though we traveled about 160 miles or so but anyway uh, I got to tell this story I mean and this is my proof so uh, you know because I pulled into a pilot right next to 75 and uh, and I thought you know well while I'm here might as well get a Wendy's cheeseburger just to eat when I get home because if you can't tell, I'm a little shaky after that bike ride. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not in shape for doing these these adventures, and uh, well, I am somewhat. You know, don't get me wrong, but this is this is this is unbelievable. You're this is so. I walk up to the door to get the burger, and I'm looking at the door, and, and there's you know red. I'm it turns out blood all over the front door of the Wendy's. I thought it was ketchup. I figured somebody had just sprayed some ketchup on the door, you know, and I thought, well, you know, so then I get inside and uh, there's this homeless guy and he's just walking around in the stupor and banging his head into the wall. And I'm thinking, well, it must be his blood, you know. Uh, so as long as I stay away from him, you know, I'm, I'm probably be all right, you know, at least to get my dog on burger. So, uh, so I got, got the burger and then I said, well, you know what, because it was, you know, another door to get out of. So I said, well, what the hell? I'll just go out the other door. So then I get out the door, and I notice a, a huge crowd gathering, you know. And uh, so I come out the door, and uh, I was like, what the hell's going on now? I said, just had a homeless guy banging his head into the wall on one side of the place. So I get out the door, and uh, man, I tell you, I'm going to have PTSD tonight. Um, there's a guy laying on the ground, white guy, uh, obviously been stabbed or shot. I'm not sure which. I didn't, you know, I wasn't there long enough to, I mean, it, it had obviously taken place before I got there and I didn't even know about it. Or, you know, maybe he just drove up while I was in the Wendy's because I didn't, don't recall seeing him before I went in the Wendy's. And uh, he's, he was going into shock. I mean, blood, blood everywhere, you know, and 16 people outside on their phones. And uh, so I said, well, you know, Nothing I can do to help. I'm not a, I'm not an ER. You know, I, only thing you can do is just put pressure on the wound to stop the bleeding, and uh, you know, and I just so I just got the hell out of there. And uh, I, as I was pulling out, you know, it wasn't two seconds. The sheriff was all, all I mean, because we're in Florida. You know, we we got good uh, law enforcement and uh, response times. Uh, the sheriff was pulling in. Uh, when I left, and then uh, I as I as I was on my way home, there came, there came the ambulance down the road so uh hopefully the guy's gonna survive i i just can't imagine what happened i mean you got the homeless guy in there you got this guy that's been stabbed or whatever i didn't see if anybody else was bleeding it might have been a brawl of some kind you know i and, and you know isn't it terrible i mean i i the good samaritan act i mean but everything was under control everybody was already on their phones so what was i supposed to do you know but i had to tell that story i mean i i haven't seen a guy bleeding out like that since um since Iraq, you know, and uh, what a horror. Whew, haven't seen that much blood in a long, long time. All right, that's it. Peace out. Stay free. I just had to tell the story. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to get home from a bike ride, you know. Oh, my God, life can be crazy sometimes, can't it? All right.